गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग टूडेज टॉपिक इज मॉड्यूल्स लाइक यू हैव अ डायरेक्टरी वॉट इज डायरेक्टरी डू डायरेक्टरी ऑर्गेनाइज रिलेटेड फाइल्स इन पाइथॉन रिलेटेड फंक्शन और क्लासेस और वेरिएबल्स आर कंबाइंड टूगेदर इन टू वन फाइल विच इज विच कैन बी इम्पोर्टेड एंड यूज एज ए मॉड्यूल therefore a python module uh, contains functions classes variables that can be imported and used in any other python program and it logically organizes the python code and uh, grouping of the code would uh, make the code easy to use and uh, understand for instance there is a uh, this is python file when you store python file you give the extension .py just a normal python file extension is .py whereas if you do it in jupyter notebook it will be ipynb i python notebook today we will work with uh, python files python files that have extension .py this uh, program or script or python code uh, is saved as support.py now when you import support.py uh, apparently in another file it would uh, cause this function to be available in the other file so that you can call this function there uh, we already covered functions let us quickly uh, summarize a function is created with a keyword def def followed by function name and a list of arguments within parenthesis colon that marks the beginning of the function in the next line indented forward print hello this one is uh this pr is the parameter whatever parameter you send it it prints hello and then value of the parameter and then return it's not returning anything just going back to the column so this one uh, it can be used as a module to utilize or leverage the module in another python program the statement used is import through import you can uh, call other modules and later can make function calls that reside in that module which you have imported generally import statements are the first line of code in the python program and uh, the syntax is import name of the module what is the name of the module with whatever name you save the program that itself is a module we have saved this a uh, program that contains print function with the name support.py therefore this support.py now has become a module and to call that module you have to use import statement uh you have to use import statement and name just the name of the module without any extension and observe here the name of the function is print underscore func print underscore func print function now can be called through this module name 
module name dot print function and this is that parameter which the function is expecting it is a required parameter in the function and it takes string uh, it, it, you are sending a string as a parameter and here it prints hello zara okay this code would do like that there is uh, another way through which uh, modules can be imported that is by using from module name import and names of the modules it is not restricted that you import only a single module with the statement you can import multiple modules by separating them uh, by comma from module name import uh, actually this this way you are basically importing all the functionality all the items that are available in the module into the namespace so uh, here this th these these name one name two name three these are not actually modules they are the components that reside within the modules all right what is the component that reside in support module will anyone tell what what is there in support module students anyone please answer function which function the sprint function consider that you have another function as well def print underscore function two also consider you have another function print underscore function three there are now three items three functions in this uh, file which can be considered as a module so essentially here from support import print function print, comma print function to comma print function 3 can be done example is this there is a function named fib with that requires one parameter n the function body comprises of the code that is meant to um, print fibonacci series you know fibonacci series is, is a sequence of numbers that is uh, obtained by adding previous two numbers if it is 0 1 the next number would be 1 the next is it 2 the next is 3 previous two values will be added that logic is implemented here the result what is result an empty list result is an empty list all right then you have two variables a comma b initialized to one uh, zero comma one zero to a one to b this is multi-variable initialization where you have multiple variables and you have multiple values these values are assigned to the variables in the order zero will be assigned to a because a occurs before b and zero occurs before one one will be assigned to b so it is in the order uh, while b less than n what is n n is the parameter that is supplied to the uh, function at the time of function call therefore here we would like the series to be printed up to n whatever uh, n uh, is provided up to that it should execute what is b now b is one is one less than n uh, suppose 
I am passing value 5. Is B less than 5? Yes. Because B is less than 5. Will anyone tell me here what is happening? This statement. What is the meaning of this statement? Adding a number or string at the end of the set. Very good. At the end of? List. Very good. Or append is a function, list function, that adds a value at the end of the list. List elements will not be disturbed. Suppose if list has 0 and 1, append 1 means it would be added at the index 2. Append 2, uh, if we say it would be added at the index 3. It is, it goes on adding at the end of the list. That is appending, that is known as appending, which is a function, default, uh, predefined function uh, for list. Li result is a list, list dot append is a function. B is the value of uh, B, which, what we assigned it as one. Now list result, result would get one initially it is empty when it is empty and you try to add something obviously it will be the first item in the list now um, again multi variable initialization takes place in this multi variable initialization a comma b equal to b comma a plus b it, 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 what does this mean? This means you are assigning the value of B to A and the sum of A and B to B. What is the value of B? B is 1. Now 1 is assigned to A. What is uh, A? Uh, what was A? A was... Uh, okay, here... Uh, a uh, again it will be 1 because 0 plus 1 it will be b is again 1 this is 1 and this is 1 or uh, it, uh, it it iterates in this loop this loop will execute for 5 times in the second iteration b value is appended b is again 1 because 0 plus 1 is 1 the next time b would be 2 the next time b would be a plus b which is 2 plus 1 3 and the next time it would be 5 1 2 3 4 5 okay now it ends because uh, it uh, fail the condition fails and uh, it returns the result what it is returning a list what does list has? A list has the uh, Fibonacci series. This is about the function, followed by this statement, which is from fib import fib. What is this? From fib. It means that this file has been saved as fib.py you have saved this python script as fib.py within fib.py there is a fib fib is a function and this fib is the module name which in fact is the file name. Then from fib means from this module, import fib. What is the second fib? Second fib is the name of the function. And then calling the function. Now we have imported, after imported, after importing, uh, it can be called fib of parameter value. 
then it uh, prints the result. Uh, no, it does not print. Actually, here a print statement should come. Within you should call this uh, within print statement. Print fib dot hundred or fib dot whatever. If you don't uh, have print statement, how will the re result get printed? When there is no print statement in the entire program, how will output get uh, printed on the monitor? It's not possible. Only through print statement, you can display the uh, values or result or whatever. And the print is missing here. And uh, remember here, this statement does not import all the functions available in the FIB module. It imports only the function which you are explicitly mentioning and calling. Uh, suppose if there is another function uh, also in fib.py module that won't get, uh, you know, imported in this file and is not available to be used. If you put comma and then call that as well, then it will be available. So it is like uh, importing only those functions or only those constructs which are useful and which are going to be called in the program. There is another statement which says import all the defined uh, constructs from the module into the current program or the current namespace by using asterisk. Uh, students, please uh, uh, recall there is a import statement in Java where you can say import Java dot awt dot star. What does this mean? You are importing all the classes defined in this awt package. Star means. Or you can say a particular, for example, button uh, class or checkbox class. A particular class you can uh, import or you can import everything available in the awt package by using asterisk uh, in python the syntax is in this way you have to say from module name import star when you say from module name import star all the functions classes variables in other words all the constructs that are apparently available in this would be imported here. Executing modules as scripts. The current module, this file, uh, def fib uh, of n, this uh, function which uh, is saved in a particular fib.py file or module could be called within the same file by using this predefined for uh, you know keyword uh, name it's not keyword rather it's uh, a global variable name is not a keyword it is underscore underscore name underscore underscore it is a global variable if you set this global variable to uh, underscore underscore name underscore underscore okay uh, these are names in python you can have names in this manner where you put a double underscore uh, before and after the name any name you can even create uh, like uh, such uh, variables, functions. This global variable name, uh, when it is set to uh, main, it, it can invoke the functions defined within the same file. In this file, fib is defined. If you have to invoke fib, you can use this global variable name 
set to mean and then call this function fib. Uh, note, please notice here, fib is returning result. That result you are storing in f, another list which is f, and later printing it through print statement print of f. All right. This is another way. There are two ways uh, in which function return value could be printed. If a function is returning something, it could be printed uh, by calling a function within print statement. This print function name, which is nothing but a function call. Uh, this is one way. So another way is to assign the returned value from the function into another variable. And later print that new variable, which has received the value from the function. All right, students. Uh, this is also one way of invoking the modules uh, in a, or uh, the items that are defined within the modules. How, how do we locate the modules? Modules are uh, searched. Modules are searched in the current directory or in the shell variable, which is Python path in that path or uh, on unix this is the third one applies only to unix and not to windows on unix the default path where you have installed the uh, python their uh, module would be searched all right suppose if you create a module support.py which we created or fib.py when you call it when you invoke it or import it uh, it has to be searched, searched by the Python interpreter. In Python interpreter is the one that is going to execute. It uh, searches in the current directory or in the path uh, specified or in the default path where the module is uh, or where the Python is uh, installed. All right. And then Python path variable, it is an environment variable. Like you have uh, uh, students, do you know environment variables? Yes, Manasa, do you know what are environment variables? I mean, basic system, I know where we can change or add the path like that. And then one more variables. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, what, what is the use of that? What is the purpose? Uh, we can set up the path or something like we, we, need, we can add anything. If you want any new thing, we can add, add there. New location or new path. New path. New path. Uh, Suppose if you want the system to search for uh, a directory, a module, a package, a file, a class, or anything, then uh, uh, where it should search? How you tell, uh, suppose you tell your uh, younger sister, uh, go and bring uh, my uh, wallet, okay? And how will she know where is your wallet? What, you, what do you say? Go and search in uh, uh, in the uh, this one uh, in the in my draw, right? You say that yeah. go and search in draw in my draw. That is like uh, mm -hmm. directing your uh, uh, sister to a path where she can search for your wallet. Like that, you tell system computer system, compilers, interpreters, where they should try to search for a particular file or particular uh, variable. That is path. Uh, 
this Python uh, path, Python path is used to specify where Python interpreter should look for modules and files. It is uh, a Python path is set to on Windows system C colon backslash Python. This is for Python version 3.4 lib hmm, library. And uh, here is a typical Python path. Oh, this is for Unix. This is for Windows. Um, obviously, they differ. Windows, uh, it, it uses this backslash format. And here uh, in Unix, you have different format. It starts with the root. OK, root and uh, user, local. This is the path for Unix. This is the path for Windows. All right, what is a namespace? When I say that I am importing a file uh, or a module in my present file, then uh, what, what does that mean? It means that now uh, the imported file or imported module is available within the uh, current program. These are all uh, segregated in the form uh, of namespaces. There, there are, there are, there, there are namespaces which is a collection of names and their values. All right. Like uh, we defined uh, in our last class, we looked at a global variable total is equal to zero, and we looked at a function, uh, and within a function there was another local variable with the same name as total and it was equal to some a plus b. Uh, what, what, what is these, these all names, this total and fib, and whatever names are there within a space, within your program, they uh, together comprises to form namespace, which is a dictionary. Will anyone tell me what is a dictionary? Yeah, students, please. Uh, Anyone? What is a dictionary? Ma'am, it's about the uh, key values. Yeah, very good. It is a key value pair. Uh, how this dictionary is different from list and tuple? Yes, anyone? How is it different? What is the difference? What, uh, uh, Perhaps you, 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 you could answer this. Uh, what is the difference between list, tuple, and dictionary? Indexes are represented using strings, and uh, it is defined in uh, curly braces. Very good. This is definition of? Dictionary, ma'am. Right. List and tuple? Tuple is immutable object. Very good. It is immutable. Immutable means which functions cannot be applied to it? Delete, update. Hmm. Insert, append. All these you cannot use with tuple. Very good. Next, uh, what is list? It is a sequence of data items. Hmm. What uh, and it is mutable. Please remember that it is mutable. And what about dictionary? Is dictionary mutable or immutable? Mutable, ma'am. Dictionary is also mutable. Now in the namespaces that consist of all the names or the identifiers. These names or identifiers are collected uh, in namespace uh, in the form of a dictionary having key and value pairs. All right. And uh, namespace is divided into two, two types, local namespace and global namespace. What is the difference between local and global namespace? Mm -hmm. Suppose if this is a function, 
whatever is defined within a function is available in local namespace for the function fib and global namespace is the space where all the identifiers are defined within a program this entire program that is referred to as global namespace if something is defined within the block of code within a function within a class it is referred to as local namespace all right so each function will have its own namespace which is a local namespace and then this uh, program in this program there is a a uh, variable money is equal to some value okay and uh, de defining a function add money without any arguments body of the function global money uncomment the following line to fix the code because money is not defined within local namespace local namespace of add money function in this add money function money is not defined and you are trying to access it 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 would raise an error what you could do you could uh, uncomment this remove this comment and say that you are trying to refer to the variable money which is defined globally in the global namespace money equal to money now when you try to access this would actually refer to this one global uh, variable which uh, which is assigned uh, value 2000 so 2000 plus 1 it would be equal to 2001 print money print money means it prints uh initially it prints 2000 before calling the function and after function is called it would become 2001 there is another built in function called dir this dir function stores the list of file names in the form of strings that you can invoke and print import math what is math math is a predefined module you are not defining math it's predefined content is equal to dir dir is a, a built in function built this built in function would take the uh, module name as the argument and then return the uh, contents contents uh, which are nothing but the names of all the functions that or variables that are defined within this module if you would like to know in math module what are the functions or var and variables defined what you could do is you call dir built in function dir of math it this returns the content in the form of a list where each element is a string which is a name of the variable or function print content when you print content you will find that this math math uh, module has got these names underscore underscore doc underscore underscore file name a cause a sin a tan all this pi power these are the functions and variables that are defined in the module math then there are 
other two functions which are called as globals and locals global and local function would return the names in the global and local name spaces depending on the location where they are called if you call local within a function it would read locals it would return the uh, name identifiers or names of the variables that are defined within the function within this def uh, if you invoke uh, uh, globals within a function it would read it would return all the names that this function could access and which are defined globally and not locally okay globals globals would return all the names uh, of global variables locals would return names of uh, local variables local variables are those that are defined within the block of code and global variables are defined outside the block of code and uh, this this two these two functions also return a dictionary that contains uh, key value pairs and keys are the names of the variables values are their values names could be extracted by invoking the keys function because keys function contains the names uh, please recall that dictionary has a function called keys and values items an item in a dictionary comprises of key value pair uh, and if you would like to retrieve only the keys you just uh, uh, call keys function if you would like to retrieve the uh, values as well values of those functions then you would uh, perhaps call uh, values all right and then the next one is reload function reload function is used to reload reload means load again the uh, modules when you import a module it is imported and uh, suppose if you would like to import it again reload is the function that imports the previously imported module again uh, let us say you imported globally and later you would want to import uh, somewhere else within a function you can uh, invoke a reload function reload name of the module the syntax to called reload is reload is the name which is built in within parenthesis it is the module name for it, for instance reload here module name is hello that's all about modules any doubts students in modules so uh, before uh, proceeding anyone tell me what is a module define a module anyone student please say what is a module it contains all the functions classes and variable that can very be important to use in any mm. other functions. yeah very nice how do you uh, how do you call a module what is the syntax to call a module import module name and the variable value uh, import module name that is one way first first way is import module name what is second way second method anyone what is the second method to import a module from module and name import yeah. name one from name two. Mod module name import all the functions all means all or um, 
whatever you require whatever you need in the present program import function name so there is another way what is that from import from a module name import star from module name import star what does the, what is the difference between second method and third method yeah anyone student in second method only functions whatever we called that only displayed in hmm. third method all the functions variable packages whatever it is they are all will be very good all whatever are defined within this modules are made available in the third one in the second one only whatever explicitly you are mentioning that those specific functions will be available all right and then there are some um, built in functions like locals globals reload dir you can use with modules next is package packages in python a uh, package is a hierarchical file structure that defines a single python application suppose you are creating an application within this application there are five files okay p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p1 dot p y p2 dot p y p3 dot p y p4 dot p y p5 dot p y these are five python files that together uh, uh, comprises to form an application for instance if you take a, uh, a student uh, management system in a college suppose a college has a student management system where a college will record student personal details then marks details previous uh, uh, study details all the information related to students will be stored there would be one file for students personal details like name date of birth and uh, address father name and all there would be one file with uh, educational details whatever education student has completed before entering the college and then the third uh, file would be whatever what students uh, are scoring the marks in first semester second semester internal marks and external marks in what they are uh, scoring like that you would have different files when you would like to com combine all these files uh, in the form of an application where you can import this application and can gain access to all these five files and everything that has been defined in these five files or these five modules you can call them modules so these five modules suppose each module has got 5 4 3 4 3 these these are the number of functions that are defined in these modules when you combine these uh, modules into an application this application could be imported in another python file and there that program could access all these modules and all the functions that are defined in these modules all right this is how uh, it could be done consider that there is one module defined and there is consider that there is a directory phone directory in that there is one module or a file python file pods.py Uh, in pods dot py there is a function pods. In that function would print I am pods phone. Similarly, there are other two uh, files or modules isdn dot py, g three dot py. In this isdn dot py there is a function called isdn. 
uh, which prints IAM ISDN phone. In G3.py, there is another function uh, which prints uh, IAM G3 phone. All right, so the, these are the three files or modules, ports, ISDN, G3. Within these uh, files, each file defines one function. And that one function has got uh, a print statement that prints a, a value, okay, some uh, information. Uh, what could be done? These three could be combined into uh, in 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 another file which is name which is named as double underscore underscore double underscore init double underscore dot py create another python file within the same directory these three files are defined in this directory in this directory you define another file which is named init in init import all these modules along with their functions or you can if you would like to import everything this is a simple program if suppose you have more number of function and you would like to import all of them you can just place asterisk here import asterisk okay so these are the statements that are defined in init.py within this directory. So all the files are in the directory. And now this would be treated as an application. When you in when you import phone, what is phone? Phone is a directory. In that phone directory, there are uh, there is init file. Init is invoked whenever you import phone. When whenever init is invoked, within init, init um, there are uh, these import statements which are calling other modules and their functions. All right, students. Uh, therefore, here it is like a sort of application. Now, phone is an application that has got three modules. That's about modules and packages. Let us execute them, then come back to this topic files. Today, uh, we are using PyCharm. What is PyCharm? I already discussed uh, about it in, in the first introduct introductory class. PyCharm is a Python IDE. What is IDE? Integrated Development Environment. Uh, student, anyone tell me what are the IDEs that you know um, for Python? Anyone? IDEs. Anaconda distributor. Very good. Anaconda distributor is one IDE. And PyCharm, Jupyter, Spider. Anaconda. Yeah. An Anaconda distribution actually it uh, include PyCharm, uh, Jupyter, and Spider. Uh, it includes all of them. But uh, individually uh, also you can um, install. You can install Jupyter Notebook. This is one kind of ID which runs in browser. And what is the speciality of Jupyter Notebook? How Jupyter Notebook is different from other environments? Yeah, anyone? How Jupyter Notebook is different from the uh, other environments? Students,
in Jupyter Notebook, we can have code, text, images, videos, any kind of data embedded in the notebook. That's how it is different and it is uh, unique and it runs in browser. If you if you look at uh, one uh, Python notebook, it can be made up of hmm, uh, these are images. Like this, you can have URLs, images, uh, anything, uh, any kind of media can be there within this Jupyter Notebook. That's why it's very flexible. It's very easy to uh, use and flexible and supports a lot of features. There is another uh, ID, which is PyCharm, which is very popular ID. And in scientific community, the ID which is uh, used is a spider and also software developers they use a spider most of the software developers in software organizations pycharm is also used actually they are uh, all all the three are very popular and uh, used by uh, widely used in the industry today we will look at uh, uh, pycharm uh, so this PyCharm I have installed. I have already given you the link from where PyCharm could be installed. PyCharm Community Edition. Uh, this one is uh, free for uh, use. It has got professional edition as well. Professional edition requires license and you have to purchase it. Uh, if you have laptop and if you would like to install PyCharm, you please install Community Edition. Uh, latest uh, community edition is also available. This I installed long back. So this one is 2018.3.3.x64. Because this machine, my machine is 64-bit. Uh, so 64-bit PyCharm has been installed. Okay, when you open it, you get a ID. Here it is. Have you used NetBeans? Students, anyone use NetBeans? Any ID before? You can uh, respond uh, in chat window. Yes or no? Anyone used any ID before? I am assuming no, because no one is saying yes. So uh, it might be no. If you have not used any ID, ID mainly uh, consist of different uh, uh, windows uh, where you will have uh, uh, opened files and then uh, folder that displays the list of files in it and then you have a menu bar where you can create a new project uh, mainly uh, id support projects within projects you can have uh, files uh, so you, it's very easy. Just you, you say new project and then it asks where you want to create the path and the name and then uh, we can create. I have already created MCA2 2021 AIP package a project in that um, for, uh, for modules. Uh, these are the files support.py uh, this one is support.py we just we learned 
uh, that we, we can define support.py as a module and then can import it, this one, which has got one function, print function. Uh, this is uh, okay within uh, after creating the project you have to select that project and then you have to right click on it and say new and say python file it will create a new python file in this manner i have created all these files from that material to save the time and to execute quickly uh, I can create here M O D U L E module, and by default the extension is py.py because I have selected Python as the file. When I say new, it is asking me which type of file. Uh, do I want bash script, scratch file, directory, Python package? Python file, Jupyter Notebook can also be created in this PyCharm. I, and we can create HTML file as well. Uh, whether we are creating a configuration file or a resource bundle, all these are different types of files that could be created within this PyCharm. I have created Python file. I have just, uh, I said file new. There is, this is one way of saying file new or Select this and right click and say new. There are two ways in which you can create a new Python file. First way, you have to create a project, but without creating project, uh, uh, these files will not be created. First, you have to create a project. Within the project, you can, if to organize all the different programs, you can uh, also create uh, uh, this directories or packages, Python package or directory within which, uh, if you observe here, students, uh, I have created two, uh, two directories and one Python package to demonstrate the concept of packages. Oh, we are here, support. So this function is defined, dev print function, PR, colon, print, hello, PR, written. This is saved as support.py. Um, this is not enlarging. Here, you can observe the name of the file. It is, these tabs are the files that, are, that have been created and that are there in the editor. You can close this by pressing this small X beside the file name. When I select or open a file, I can do it in one of the two ways. We can go to this browser part and you can double click on it to open this or you can open directly from these tabs. These tabs are the file names. Select a tab, you, that file will get opened. Okay, uh, support.py. Then to execute, just right click and say run run support is it visible run support there are so many options but you choose run run option run option is for executing a program because there is uh, uh, no function call here it is just function definition function definition will not give any output function has to be called only then uh, output is printed on the uh, screen to do that, there is another file defined, which is hello.py. This hello.py um, is importing support. 
this support whatever we have defined no support import support and make a call with the uh, module name module name is support support dot print underscore f u n c import support support dot print underscore f u n c within within parentheses it is the argument or the uh, parameter <clears throat> that is passed when you run this run hello the output is shown in the bottom window hello zara from where you got this hello colon you are just calling a function with the parameter zara how you got hello zara because when it, when you invoke this function its body will, will get executed and in this body it has hello and parameter name all right students so this is about uh packages the next one is after support fibonacci yeah fib fib m fib m dot p y fib m dot p y has a function fib which performs this uh, fibonacci series generation and this is invoked here in this program call fib call fib in call fib what are you doing from fib m what is fib m fib m is the name of the module which is nothing but file name fib m dot p y so from fib m import fib what is fib fib is the function defined in fib m you can have same names or different names fix your wish but give meaningful names print fib of 100 now when i when this one first we will execute a function then we will execute this for calling function fib of 100 One, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen. Up to hundred. Uh, up to hundred in uh, means uh, there. There here it it is b b up to b is less than n. When n uh, is a hundred, uh, what it, whatever value is less than hundred that would get printed. So up to eighty nine. Now eighty nine plus fifty five is something greater than hundred, so it won't get printed. All right, students. And then we have this is directory content. this uh, this one is uh, invoking the uh, module within itself by using the global variable name underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equals to uh, double underscore main double underscore if you assign main to this global variable you can invoke fib directly here in the same uh, program run main main you get the same output it is 100 below 100 it prints uh then you have names uh, scope uh, global scope and local scope when you execute this program an error is raised local variable money referenced before assignment the money is referenced before assignment it has to, because you are using it you are accessing it it has to be assigned before accessing that is uh, a syntax rule in python
when we uncomment this global money when you uncomment this it is like trying to uh, uh, refer to the global variable money for that now uh, print money before function call it is 2000 after function call it is 2001 because it's it's getting incremented so support scoping this is over directory this would print the contents of math uh, directory Uh, doc loader name package all these are available in the math uh, module all right this is about uh, execution of programs related to modules next to we'll look at packages in packages we have defined ports i am ports phone isdn there is an isdn function g3 module there is a g3 function and there is an init module uh, module or init file that imports all these modules okay now when you call import packages this packages is like phone instead of phone i have given here the name packages so that uh, this name denotes that we are learning the concept of packages import packages packages dot ports what is this packages packages uh, is this uh, an application which has got three modules now package could be used to invoke the functions defined in the modules packages dot ports packages dot isdn packages dot g3 when you run this uh you are getting the output not from the current file mm -hmm. rather from other files which are defined in the same package and which have been invoked here students any doubts in modules and packages and their execution or in pycharm if no doubts means we'll proceed next uh, concept is files you might have learned about file what is a file a file is a collection of data a file could be text file document file python file c file any kind of file it could be uh you could, and uh, there is there is a provision where python supports creation of file reading and writing uh into a file and uh, opening and closing a file that way uh some of the output or some information if you would like to record permanently in a file you can uh, create a file and or you can uh, if already if it is created you can open a file and you can write the data to it or if you want to read you can read the data from it there are various operations number of operations that could be performed on a file uh, by default whenever you say print it gets printed to the standard output what is the standard output well the standard output is monitor 
whenever you say print whatever is there within it would get printed on the monitor because it is the default uh, output device what is the default input device whenever you say input we used to input function to um, accept the value from the user this input function receives value from keyboard because keyboard is the default input device but then through files we can redirect input and output we can uh, instead of uh, taking input from keyboard can take from a file instead of writing the uh, output on the monitor you can write into a file this in this program x is equal to input of something something what some value uh, has to be entered by the user that value is printed something enter data is treated as a string with or without yeah we know that by default whatever value you enter from the keyboard is taken as string please recall we have used int input of why did we use like this because you wanted to perform some mathematical operation on the input that has been taken from the user therefore you have to uh, you have to convert the data that has been entered by the user from string to integer this is type conversion to int whatever is entered it is in str form from str to int opening and closing files how do you open file there is a function a function uh, open which takes file name as its first parameter and access mode as its optional second parameter buffering as its optional third parameter and it returns the file object this file object is like a placeholder through which you can access the file what is the name of the file it is whatever you have created that access mode is uh, why do you want to open a file whether you want to open it for read purpose for write purpose or for both read write purpose uh, this is specified through access mode uh, which determines the purpose of opening the file and then buffering uh, buffering if it is set to 0 buffering will not be taken place if it is set to 1 line buffering is performed while accessing a file buffering means what um, when you open a YouTube video, it buffers. Buffers means it uh, brings some of the content into your device. Suppose if you are watching and your pointer is here, you could observe that if you have fast internet connection, the video video file will get streamed and will will be buffered in in your device. Even if power goes off. If they, there is no data available, whatever has been buffered, you can um, utilize it. Like that here also, if you use buffering as, if you set buffering as one, then it uh, stores the file data somewhere in the memory. Okay, it means it buffers. If it is zero, it does not buffer. The modes into which file could be open is read, R, RB means read read a file in binary format. B is for binary format. R plus means open file for reading and writing. And the pointer is placed at the beginning. If, if there is a file already, F1, you open it with the R plus mode. And if you write after uh, opening it in R plus mode, the existing contents are overwritten by the new contents because the pointer will be placed in the beginning of the file and whatever you write 
will, will be written uh, from the line one. All right. RB plus, it is read uh, and write in binary format. W is for writing. And W will overwrite the file if it exists. WB is for write in binary format. W plus is uh, writing and reading. Also, it overwrites the existing file if you are writing a new content to it. WB plus it's reading and write, writing or uh, writing and reading binary form, format files. A is for appending. Appending means what happens? What is the difference between W and A? In W, when you write, existing data is overwritten with the new data. So existing data is lost. Whereas A, when file is open for appending, the file pointer is placed at the end of the file. Uh, therefore, you can retain the existing data. Whatever is available, that will be there as it is. Pointer will point to the last line, after last line, and then it uh, add the contents. AB is for appending in binary format. AB means for appending and reading. AB plus is for appending and reading binary format files. The file object attributes. What are the attributes that a file object uh, supports? File dot closed. If you use the file object dot closed, this is an attribute. It returns true if file is closed. Otherwise, it returns false. <coughs> file dot mode. It returns uh, the mode in which uh, a file is opened. File dot name. It returns the name of the file. These are attributes. Remember, th these are not functions. They are attributes. Example is open a file. Open uh, this file is there already. WB in uh, binary mode, the file is open. And uh, name of the file, this FO, op this is file object. FO.name, these three attributes, closed and mode. After printing, name and status and uh, mode, it is closed. FO.close. Close method is used to uh, close the file and flushes any unwritten information and closes the file, which no more uh, writing can be done. Flushes the flushing, flushing means what? Suppose if it, there is some data to be written, but it has not been um, updated in the file, it is removed, flushed out. And the syntax to close the file is file object dot close. This one is open the file and uh, prints the name of the file and close the file. Reading and writing files. Write, write method. This will write uh, a, a string, any string to an open file. Anything. Uh, in, in other words, we can say that you are create you are writing the contents to a file content could be anything and to perform that writing write function is called with the uh, data that is to be written open a file using open method open method or open function takes how many parameters three parameters first one is mandatory other two are optional. Here, the third one is omitted. Only two uh, parameters are uh, passed. First one is name of the file. Second one, the mode. And fo.write. You are writing in fo.txt. What are you writing? Python is a great language. And uh, this is backslash and means new line character. Yeah, it's great. Again, a new line character. Mm. So apparently, the output 
will be printed in this manner. Python is a great language. This is in line number one. Yeah, it's great. Is it is in line number two. If you don't specify backslash n, uh, both would get printed in the same line. By default, write uh, will continuously write without uh, adding any new line character. Okay, if line if it is um, very long. Then it would uh, uh, perhaps take it to the next line. But then, if you would like to add a new line character between the sentences or words or uh, statements, then you have to use backslash n. And fo dot close is to close the file that has been opened. This is the output. Read method. File read method is to read a string from an open file. First file has to be opened. After you open the file, you can read the contents of the file. First, open a file, read the ten characters from the file. Read a string is is whatever you have, whatever has been read. Then close the file. Read a string is Python is. So up to this one, we will execute, and then we will see how we can work with files. Files. First one is open, open, close, file. If this one, opening a file, oh, to create a file, if first let us create a file. I'll create a file in, in the same package, files package. Let us create a new file, not Python file, text file. Mm. My file dot txt. Okay, this is line one and line two. Finally, line. All right, this this is saved. Control S. Open close file. Here I'll give the name my file dot txt and run this. Name of the file is my file dot txt. Fo dot name. Closed or not means it is not closed because it is open. Here we have opened it. Opening mode is WB. All right. This is open close file. Then read. Reading a file, reading from a file. First, we'll see right. Write dot py. Write dot py. Here we'll give my file. My file dot txt, and then we are writing. When we write the existing contents, whatever I have typed, you know, that will get over it. Where they have gone? Okay, let us see. Run write. Hmm. Now that whatever we have written here, Python is a great language. Uh, backslash and yeah, it's great. Gets written in this file, my file.txt. Python is a great language. Yeah, it's great. This is right. Then read, or we will read from my file. Read 
read string is pythonese why we get only pythonese because we have specified 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right only 10 characters we specified so we are getting 10 if we change it to 20 we get 20 characters how many characters you would like to read you have to specify to read function and then it would uh, return that those many lines all right students so i think now i'll give time for you to practice i don't know how many of you are practicing first let me take the attendance first uh, tell me whether you understood or not all of you understood ma'am very good uh, have you started writing the answers for the assignment yes ma'am so today roll number 3 5 6 Forty-two, thirty-six, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-four, forty-five, forty-seven, fifty, fifty-four, fifty-seven. Students, now all of you don't leave the meeting. Hmm? Still, you are in the class. I am also there. You just uh, open those who have laptops. Open Collab in laptop. Those who have uh, mobiles. Have you installed that by ID which I sent you? If you have not in installed, please. Uh, install it i will stop the recording